Um, we could not make it to the to the ambassador's training that was held out here. Um, it was so Scott's wedding weekend. Our son's wedding weekend, so we absolutely couldn't make it. <laughs> so Shauna, uh, we scheduled a, uh, a training workshop down in uh, in our parish, and uh, ended up. Well, we didn't want to have, we wanted it to be very intimate. Uh, people that were on fire um, invited no more than a dozen people, and I think we had nine, ten people there that day. Uh, went through the training. Uh, uh, we were getting fired up already and had been talking to people about this, of course, as we're inviting them to participate in this. Um, I had gotten fired up because I had, you know, the way that the bishop was transforming the summit for to bring all the sheep. Mm -hmm. um, so we had we just invited a few people, and uh, uh, wow, um, it just exploded. We pretty soon, uh, um, mm -hmm. you know, we had our core team together. Um, gosh, I don't know. I mentioned to Sandy one day. I think about. Uh, uh, how do we do this? Uh, they're going to have it. it it's going to be contained in one day. So if it doesn't include a football game on Friday night that we we can't get people to leave for, if we can leave Saturday morning and come home Saturday, leave early, come home late, one day, threw out the idea of a bus uh, to Sandy, and, and so all of a sudden the bus idea uh, was born and. and uh, if we can get people fired up, uh, if we can have moms bring their kids, dads can come along, they don't have to drive, they just show up. We, have, we build community in our parish by doing the bus trip. Um, we got up and we did a pulpit announcement talking about the previous year, and, and I think the childcare was a big thing, you know, and the bus as well, but knowing that you could come as a family, you know, bring your family, let the kids go do their thing, you just, you come away, you rest, you be refreshed, renewed by Jesus and the Spirit, and, you know, take that time for yourself to grow. We, uh, we threw some videos up uh, one weekend at Mass, uh, got some in-fire people to talk about it, um, to speak up the summit. We uh, uh, set up a Google Docs. Um, um, yeah, we divided our parish up, like we took our directory from our parish, we made a Google Doc, and then we had little, little different checklists. Everybody had access to the Google Doc that was on the training committee. So, okay, if you have a relationship with that person, make sure you invite them. So, you know, like what the bishop is talking about, having those relationship, relationships with people. You know, if you already know them, go and personally invite them. And then, you know, like, okay, yeah, you're going to get some no's. Then sometimes it got to be a game. Okay, who can get the most no's? Just so you get out there and you invite, not worry about what they say, but just plant the seeds. Let the Holy Spirit do the work and just get out there and invite people. Yeah. Give them yeah. the invitation. It was a uh, total personal invitation, uh, phone calls, uh, talking to people, just catching people going outside of Mass, people mm -hmm. coming into Mass, Wednesday nights, ball games, whatever. Um, just personally inviting people. Yeah. And having that Google Doc helped us a ton. And we put a green check mark in there. If we had invited that person, if somebody else invited that person also, great, put another green check mark. We had a yes, no column, maybe. Um, we were on a, in a texting group together as a group of, of people. Um, I remember being down in, on my ranch, down in the River Hills, working on the skid steer and, and uh, popping texts, getting, oh man, I just asked these people. And these, we just asked these people there, yes, you know. And, Oh, it was an exciting oh, time. It was an ex very you know, everybody exciting Everybody was on time. fire, and it was really, and yeah, really, we just really, fun. really uh, the Holy Spirit just inflamed us as a group of people to invite everybody in the parish and put that pebble in their shoe, and and let the Holy Spirit just take it from there. Pretty soon, uh, I'm working one day, wind rolling some hay, and and uh, uh, one of the guys, whoever was in charge, said, "We have too many people. We're going to have to maybe get another bus." So all of a sudden that idea went out and the Holy Spirit just ignited another flame and Sandy called, they had another bus for us, so bam, we're back at yep. it again. We can fill um, up another bus, yeah. keep going team. Just, so we're texting people, calling people, catching people. Um, and anyway, I think we ended up from Gregory County, a bus and a half or so, I don't know. There was 97 people from Gregory Parish, mm -hmm. I think. It was such a beautiful trip, such a beautiful time. The Great summer. fellowship. Great fellowship and community, 
but it just took some boots on the ground and some fire from the Holy Spirit, total, total, total action by the Holy Spirit through us as a group of people. To, and that uh, personal invitation. That personal invitation. Come. But uh, God, uh, you know, I mean, the Holy Spirit just took the ball and run with it. And all we did was just, uh, just let him work through us. So totally a uh, God thing. just for them to witness and to be a part of that experience of encountering Christ here with so many other Catholics and having our bishop be a part of that from the mass to the healing service. Those were some experiences that a lot of our parishioners had never been a part of a healing service like that. And to see the Holy Spirit just so present and feel his presence and see the presence of the Spirit working and yeah. just that awakening of the Holy Spirit in their own life then. I had some major man hugs um, uh, because of the palpability of the Holy Spirit out here at the summit. I mean, we were just high-fiving man hugs. This was like, it was, uh, um, that doesn't happen unless the, the, the Spirit is just moving within you. You know, um, uh, it was, there was also, of course, questioning by people that it, it's a, a very similar to, to taking a group of kids maybe to the on a Steubenville trip. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know as Catholics uh, that those, the Spirit can move so palpably amongst us. That happened out here at the summit. So to expose people to, to the movement of the Holy Spirit and, and uh, the Holy Spirit as, how the Holy Spirit can work in us as Catholics. Yeah. That uh, uh, that we had questions on that, and that was good. We have um, and confession. People going to confession that hadn't been, or maybe weren't even Catholic, and wanting yeah. to go to confession. And a gal asked us if she could go to confession, just and she wasn't even Catholic, and she wanted to go to confession at the summit. So it's just the Holy, the movement yeah. of the Holy Spirit. Just, it's just so awesome, and, and just to be. Uh, we, we took people out there that uh, just uh, from the pews that um, realized, and that's why I got the man hugs. It was like, man, this is just like, this isn't the Catholic Church they knew. Yeah. To be able to give them that encounter with Jesus mm -hmm. Christ is just, uh, is just awesome, and it is ongoing back in our parish.